I wanted to test if I could also shit unicorn and look like an angel by living a day like an influencer. And first up on the agenda was of course waking up an hour prior to filming so I could look good and like I just woke up and then putting on a matchy pajama set in true influencer style. I went to my local charity shop and I found this, which is actually pretty good. Except that the top is in a size 6. Not a conventional size 6, but a size 6 years old. So it's quite tight here. Yeah. I feel that I might get a little, you know, scratch from wearing it. <laughs> Most influencers I watch go outside every morning and pick this very aesthetically pleasing, very idyllic lemon or apple or something like that only problem is my nearest bit of nature is like a concrete park so i'm not really sure what i will be able to find here i'm also a little bit suspicious about eating anything i find here because i've seen quite a lot of people both kissing and doing drugs down here maybe maybe a little flower 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 for my breakfast wow those truly are some short shorts so next up i had to drink the official influencer drink aka lemon water only problem is i sort of think it tastes like sour urine which may be showable in these clips <sighs> And now for something even less enjoyable but more influency, the infamous celery juice! In case you wondered about the quite big stain on my shirt, I drooled a little bit and I thought it wouldn't show up on my shirt, but re-watching the video I can conclude it certainly did. It's actually more pleasant than I feared. So exactly how unpleasant did I fear it would be? So I think maybe now I actually get the hype about celery juice because it actually makes you appreciate those little things way more like those moments when you are not drinking celery juice. So I am currently making my breakfast and I'm not going to look at the camera because I need to be very concentrated to make this because for some reason every influencer's breakfast is arranged in these perfectly straight lines down their oatmeal bowl. So I really gave it my best effort, but I kind of feel like it was a mistake to put strawberry sauce on my oatmeal bowl, as now it looks like it's either on a period or I tried to kill it, which is not aesthetically ideal for my breakfast. It tasted fine and gave me a lot of influenza vitamins though. So breakfast has been eaten and now I'm going down and training. And uh, opposite many other influencers, I don't have a personal trainer, but what I do have is a personal husband. Would you like to tell me how I'm going to train today? Oh, I'm supposed to say something. Isn't saying something kind of a big part of being a personal trainer? You're going to do some things that are part of the muscles, I suppose. <laughs> Well, first up, my personal trainer had me doing the oddly specific number of 56 pull-ups. Can you give me some motivational pep for my remaining, like, 40 pull-ups? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> so... Halfway there? Yes, halfway. I'm just relaxing for a bit. It's not, it would have been more pleasant if I didn't have so much celery in my guts right now, I think. Last one. My trainer next had me doing so many bicep curls, I highly suspect that I will never be able to properly fist pump again. Okay, so my personal trainer just told me that I need to finish my training off with some bench press, uh, where he oddly enough combined low weight with low rep and called it like the training dessert. So oh, yes. Yeah, that is what I'm going to do now. So I have just showered after training. Which is not like normal for me. I usually sit for the remaining part of the day in my own sweat and really let the world breathe in just how majestic I can be in the training center. But the influencers seem to always go directly home and shower and then put on some effortlessly 
effortlessly cool clothes. So I went for the classic 10 slash shirt look, which I seen on Instagram multiple times, and then I felt awkward about the whole outfit of the day thing, which I coped with by dancing. As every respectable influencer, I of course have to eat avocado toast for lunch. And let me just say, uh, mine is not as aesthetically pleasing as the usual avocado toast on Instagram. In hindsight, it was probably a mistake to try and make my avocado toast look like mini monsters. Time for those photos for the gram. First attempt, I wanted to climb to the top of one of those poles. Yeah, moron me didn't realize I was actually not in the frame when I was on the top. Also, I scratched my belly and showed my butt on the way down, so all in all, good effort. Next up, I thought it could be kind of quirky and fun and cute if I sat myself in a big box, but I think it just looked like art. Then I tried to make my hair look like very windy and good using my table fan. I didn't realize how much of it was actually in the picture and my hair even got stuck in it at one point. Now for the I'm relaxing on my couch picture where I honestly think I look like a dead person. I think these are the most successful. These are like giveaway pictures. The only thing I had in last enough quantities was my favorite cereal and multivitamins. But yeah, I think these are fairly okay. I wanted to flex something expensive, so I took my remote control to my speakers and yeah. So of course I couldn't end up the day without a skinny tea. But there's no way I was actually going to buy skinny tea. So I just made my own from what I could grasp of the ingredients online, which was like cinnamon and turmeric and rhubarb. I didn't have any rhubarb, so I replaced that with black currant. And then I also put in some husk because I know skinny tea makes you have great bowel movement. That is surprisingly okay. I think the celery from this morning may have like affected my brain or something and now I have become an influencer with influencer taste. And to finish off the video I thought I would share my skincare routine. But as it consists of actually doing nothing, not even rinsing, I thought it would be better if I invented a skincare routine. And do you know those things where you like, it might work? I have some expired, I don't know if you can see it. Oh, beauty blogger trick. Yeah, I know it's not focusing, but I have some expired vegan pate. It might work as a face mask. Why? Why would that work as a face mask? Oh, 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 that smells weird on my face. That should maybe have told you that pate really doesn't go as a face mask as you ended up smelling like pate for the next 24 hours. No, I should have stuck to my original routine. Oh God. Okay, so update. Something actually went up my nose and came back out. Uh, something went into my mouth. Which is not ideal since it was moldy and I didn't like it at the first place. It's not a very good pate. And so far I don't feel very refreshing, <gasps> but maybe I will once I washed it off. <laughs> I actually think I look <laughs> I look way worse than before I did my skincare routine. I look quite red. Perhaps you're not supposed to put expired vegan products on your face. <gasps> I wouldn't know. I'm not an influencer, but I can testify that it really looks like I have vomited in my sink. So yeah, that's disgusting. That's going to wrap up the video. I'm probably just going to, you know, finish my skinny tea, maybe drink the remaining of my celery juice from this morning. Cause you know, I'm used to the influencer life now. So see you in the next video.